What's happening to your friends and family? It's your man, Holly Favorite underscore Ann, and your boy is back on the couch with a brand new sneaker vid. Hope you guys have been doing well. As the title says, we got a story to tell about one of the most limited sneakers in my collection that your boy got for retail, but these sneakers came at a price, headaches, stress, probably the one of my most hardest pickups in a very, very long time. Back in the day, I used to do my whole camping and everything like that. I'm pretty sure a lot of us have, but since sneakers have been sitting online, it's a little bit easier to get since it's more resources. These, I had to go back to my roots, man. But like I said, it was one of the toughest sneakers to get. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And while I'm showing you guys your shoes, I'm gonna tell you the story, all right? So let's go. But these are for a pair of Jordans, a pair of Jordan 4s. Very, very, very limited. That, like I said, your boy score for retail. Quick, quick shout out to my guy on Twitter, Giuseppe Joe. He doesn't do YouTube, but I'll leave a link down below for his Twitter. He reached out to me, hit me up on my phone. Yo, and yo, they're giving out raffle tickets in your city, Brooklyn, New York. You need to head down there right now. I was just leaving work overnight, and I said, man, I don't really want to go to no line, but I know I needed these shoes, and I said, you know what? All right, let me go check it out. By the time I got there, there was over 200 people already on the line. And I was like, all right, no way. But I got there. They gave me a guaranteed raffle ticket. They said, listen, it doesn't guarantee your size, but it does guarantee a pair. I said, all right, cool, whatever. If I don't get my size, I actually could use it for trade bait or trade for my size later on. But got there. The shit went crazy. Um, you know, the same old, same old people was acting all stupid and everything like that on the line. Just like skipping and all that type of stuff. So it was raining. It got cold. I mean, nonstop rain from 10 a.m. in the morning all the way to like midnight. Rain, rain, rain. It was just rain. It, I was soaked. Soaked, soaked, soaked. They let us go home. Somebody called corporate. They let us go home. And then they said, okay, you guys need to come back at 7 o'clock. That's when they're going to start distributing the sneakers. I was like, cool. We want to go home. I can grab some rest since your boy left work. Got there. Thought it was, it was going to be a smooth, as you can see. It's the cause for us. But I thought it was going to be a smooth transaction when I go back. Nope, that shit wasn't smooth. Got back. It turned into more ruckus. People start to do their whole funny business. And what happened is they oversold. Apparently what happened inside, he had an event for friends and family, and a lot of friends and family were buying multiple sneakers, like three, four pairs, and the, and the, um, the gear as well, the apparel, that they didn't have enough for people on the line. So they told us to go home, they told us to leave our information. Long story short, man, they said we'll email you guys later on. I didn't believe it because I'm like, the whole setup that they were doing, was kind of like, okay, um, are they really going to email us, man? Like, they told, they told us what our name on some piece of paper with our phone number. I'm like, bro, ain't no way my shit is getting emailed, bro. I mean, back, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, no way. You know what? I just got to call, like, take this L because I know I'm not going to get these sneakers. But I got an email later on saying that, oh, they're going to be doing a raffle online. I'm like, bro, you can't, like, you got to be kidding me, bro. Ain't no way you about to do another raffle Especially after I stood in the rain and got wet and all this type of stuff and I had to be back to work for later that night again. I'm like, bro, y'all got to do something else. Then 20 minutes later, they sent another email saying, oh, for the people who was in New York City and stood on the line and, and got your raffle tickets, whatever the case is, we're going to guarantee the size that you put in the paper. So that was like real clutch, man. I got, I was able to get the size I put in for, which was my size, size 10 and a half. And I'm super stoked, man. Let's take a look at the boxes real quick, man. These are for the core, cause for Jordan 4 cause. And a lot of you guys know he's a, a artist. He did a few collaborations with Nike before in the past with some Air Maxes. And um, he does apparel. He does those statues and stuff like that. They're all over the museums. But I'm very happy to get these for retail. But now having them in hand, like I said, it's, it's not my most favorable for because... Just some things about them I'm not a big fan of. Just like with the whole suede on the midsole. But quality and craftsmanship is impeccable on these, man. A lot of creativity he put into this. Of course, you know, the bottoms do glow. You got the whole hands right there. And the upper has the same thing as well, too. There's a ton of videos on YouTube with these. I'm not sure how many have real videos or if they're like replica videos. But like I said, these did come from the Cause Museum. And, um... Like I said, you got the double X right there. Leather sock liner. 
um, does have the Jordan Time Cores, and there you see 10 and a half. Not uh, cores on the back of the tongue, you know, usually it says Jordan on the back of the tongue. You got your jump man right here. Really, like I said, nice quality of suede on the medial portion as well. Double X in the back, man. Just like I said, a clean, clean shoe. But I'm super stoked, man. Like I said, I was able to get these joints for retail, man, because I wasn't trying to pay the high. These were going for a ridiculous amount. But like I said, I might just hold on to them because I went through so much stress. It's definitely a collector's item for the collection. I mean, for the sneaker collection. I never collected his toys or anything else that he's made. So, you know, it's good to have something that um, from his collection. So, nonetheless, man, I just want to share that story with you guys. I know I was kind of all over the place, but your boy has to get ready for work soon. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, leave a thumbs up. goes a long way. Share this video with your friends and family. Instagram, Twitter, those links are always down below in the description. I'll see you guys really soon for some more vids. As usual, peace. God bless.